Assalamu alaikum. This, uh, this experiment number is 9 and the name of the experiment is grain size analysis, hydrometer analysis of fine grain soil sample. In this experiment, we have to use some equipments uh, which is arranging on the table. You can see the mixing rod, a stopwatch, a defloculation agent, a chemicals, glass cylinder, thermometer, hydrometer, beaker with so, uh, water, beaker with water, this is the glass plate. Our sample which is taken for the experiment is two uh, is uh, 200 passing that means which is stored on the pan in grain size analysis sieve analysis experiment in the sieve analysis we found that some soil samples are retained on the pan in that case we cannot determine whether it is silt or clay to distinguish between silt and clay we have to use this type of test or that or hydrometer analysis test this is our soil sample which is taken on the balancing machine by taking 50 gram of soil sample in our data sheet it is denoted as ws so ws is equal to 50 gram now we are taking the chemical The name of the experiment, uh, the, the name of this chemical is sodium hexametaphosphate. And we have to take the 10% of the total soil, that means 5 gram, as we took 50 gram of soil sample. This is 5 gram. Of the chemical now we have to mix this chemical with the soil into the water We are taking the beaker or the glass cylinder to mix the soil and the chemical. We have to take 1000 ml water in the glass cylinder. And there is a mark on the glass cylinder. You can find, you can see that there is a mark, and we have to take up to the mark of thousand ml. Finally, we get 1000 ml of water into the cylinder. First of all, 
we pour the sodium hexametaphosphate before that we have to make a correction with the hydrometer device and this is called as meniscus correction which is denoted in the data sheet as cm we drop the machine into the water and the mark in the machine is minus 1 so in the data sheet we found that the meniscus correction is minus 1 or the cm is minus 1 this is just below the 0 After that, we remove the device of hydrometer device and we, uh, we have to pour the solution. Uh, we have to pour the sodium hexametaphosphate into the water to make a solution. And we are using the mixing rod to mix the water with the chemical. This chemical is normally used to increase the density of the water. After mixing, we have to input the device again into the water and we have to take the zero correction which is denoted in the data sheet as C0 by using the same device that means the hydrometer device. Now we drop the hydrometer device into the beaker or cylinder and this time it gives plus 3. So the zero correction or C0 is plus 3. It, it indicates that the density of the water is increases. Now we are mixing the soil sample. We have to use the mixing rod again to mix the solution with the soil properly. It takes time to mix with the water. After that, we need time to settle down. And now we are pouring the device into the sample.
you have to take the reading that uh, in 15 second 30 second 60 second 120 second that means the double than the previous one after the 120 this is 240 second and after that this is 480 second and this is goes on in the data sheet we found that the value uh, the value uh, we found the values with respect to time and in that case we have to use the stopwatch to get the time in 25 second the reading is 42 and in 0.5 second this is the reading is 40 in one minute this is 39 and it goes on you have to remember that we have to take that values for 24 hours but in that case uh, this is not possible to take 40 24 hours in the calculation part we can find the real rate theory objective material equipment experimental procedure and uh, in the data sheet the weight of the sample was 50 gram which was previously shown in the video the specific gravity gs is 2.64 this is given zero correction c naught is plus 3 main scars correction cm is minus 1 Temperature correction CT is 1.65, which is uh, taken from the table, uh, which is given in the uh, second part. And the temperature of the room was 26 degree. According to the temperature, the value of CT varies. You can see for the temperature of 26 degree, the value of CT is 1.65, and this is generated with here. CT is 1.65. You have to find a coefficient that is a a is equal to 1.65 gs that means the specific gravity divided by 2.65 into gs minus 1 the value of a is 1.002 and in a table we have to find a another coefficient that is k in in your exam it will provide in the question paper this is uh, the value of the k is uh, here and the temperature is 26 degree which was previously shown there now this is the main table this is elapsed time which was previously recorded uh, with the help of stopwatch and we already said that the time is uh, going higher and this is double than the previous one that means the, uh, the first one is 0.25 second and the second one is 0.5 second this is 1 minute, 2 minute, 4 minute, 15 minute, 8 minute, and it goes on. And the value is also given here. According to the time, that means in 0.25 second, the actual hydrometer reading, that means the RA is 42. And uh, in the reading after the main scale correction, that means RA plus CM. In our experiment, the CM is minus 1. So, the value of r is equal to 42 minus 1 that means 41 effective depth l from the table based on r there is also a table and it is provided in your exam paper and based on that table or uh, based on the value of r you have to find the value of l after getting the value of L, you have to find the particle diameter D in millimeter, which is uh, K into root over L divided by T. This is L, this is T, and this is the value of K. So you can find the value particle diameter D. Uh, this is in millimeter. The corrected hydrometer reading RC is equal to RA minus C naught plus CT. That means R A minus C naught plus C T minus C naught plus C T. But in our experiment, the C T temperature correction is 1.65. So 
However, we are inputting all of the values, then we can find the RC is 40.65. Using that RC and the value of A and the total weight of soil sample, we can find the percent finer, how much the finer of the particle. This is the formula here and you have to find the percent finer. Using this value, percent finer, and the particle size d in diameter this is particle d in diameter this one and this one is inputting into semi-log graph paper in the semi-log graph paper whenever you are inputting the values in the x direction is particle diameter and in the y direction is percent finer you can find a graph like this and this is the hydrometer graph and this is the end of this experiment assalamu alaikum warahmatullah